Welcome back, everybody. It is uh, the morning of November 7th now. We're over here in Pennsylvania. I'm right in that same pinch point uh, that I hunted when I shot that buck with a recurve right here at seven yards. I'm in the same exact spot. Uh, that's still such a bitter pill to swallow. I, that's gonna haunt me for a long time having an opportunity like that with a recurve and then not capitalizing. Feel terrible about it, but uh, I shot my recurve a lot and I'm shooting it good. I just, I, I just lost my mojo with it a little bit. I think I just, I couldn't bring myself to bring it with me this morning. I just don't want to repeat that. I have my compound with me this morning. We're going to sit tight and hope that a, a nice buck comes by. Got a wind right out of the southwest, which is perfect setup for this stand. Pretty warm, but it's November 7th. These bucks are freaking running all over the place. We'll turn you on when something happens here. Let's try to do a little rattling and see if we can not get something fired up a little bit. Been pretty slow so far. I've got quite a few questions on why I use these to rattle. I would take rattling antlers, but it's a pain in the butt. I have all this camera equipment to carry, a climbing tree stand, camera arm, a bow, I'm not just walking to the woods, you know, like a normal hunter. I've got all kinds of stuff, and I don't need big antlers taking up space and rattling on my way in. This is definitely the answer for someone like me that's already got, you know, a mountain of stuff to bring into the woods. We'll see.
plus. lost my camera. Guys. I've had the craziest archery season you can imagine. Like he's done. What a year. Did that really just happen? He didn't make it easy on me. You know what that thing was doing? He was circling freaking downwind of this tree. He went big circle, rubbing, scraping the whole way. Went all the way around, right about to where he was this close to catching my wind when I had to shoot. He wasn't gonna get any closer. It was probably ranged him at like 45 yards where he was, and I knew he was five steps from catching my wind. My wind's going right that way, walking down the edge of this side hill right here. That sucker was getting downwind of that snort wheezing call and stuff. I put my 40 yard pin, I held it just a little low because that's a long shot, 45, 46 yards, I think is what that tree is I ranged at where he was. And I knew he was gonna try to duck me, and I, he ducked like, he ducked like crazy. And I think that's why I spined him. I feel bad about spying him, but I put another arrow. He's, he's done. Oh, man. I had the crazy, I've hunted in Pennsylvania twice. and have had the craziest hunts both times in the same tree. Man, I'm so, I mean, I can't thank uh, Slavas enough for letting me hunt here. I mean, they got, this is like a mini Iowa up here. This is crazy. To catch that buck, working the edge of the field up there, snort weed and grunt at him. He freaking postured it up. <laughs> did this, did this happen? Oh my gosh. He is a brute, dude. What a tank of a deer. It looked like a heifer coming across the field. I'm gonna hurry up and get down and make sure that deer's, he just rolled over the hill a little bit, so I wanna make sure he's dead for sure. It's Slava. Sorry, Mr. Cole. Leave a message, give you a call later. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Slava, I was just uh, calling to let you know I stuck one. It's a nice 8 point. Give me a call back as soon as you can. Bye. Let's go ahead and give Kaylee a call. This has to kill her because she's at work. Hello? Hey, babe. What's up? Not much. What are you doing? Did you just hear Big Buck? <laughs> yeah. You must be getting sick of these calls. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. I called him from over 100 yards away. He snort wheezed at him and he came right to the tree. At Slava's? Yep. This, oh my goodness. This freaking, this is like hunting mini Iowa over here. It's crazy. Did you say mini Iowa? Yeah. I mean, this deer, this deer acted like, you don't see him act like that very often around here. I mean, he bristled right up, laid his ears back, came in, started raking the trees and the ground, and then he tried to circle downwind of where I was calling from, and he dang near got downwind. I finally am like, well, I gotta shoot him because he's gonna catch my wind any second. And he was 46 yards, so I held my pin a little low and shot. And unfortunately, I spined him. But 
I got another arrow into him pretty quick there. Jeez, good thing he held a little low. Oh, I know. I would have way missed over him. Um, did you, I assume you, you had your compound, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't have my... Re the recurve, I'd have never even had a shot at him. He'd have caught my wind and been gone. Hey, what's up, Slava? What's up, champ? Oh, I stuck one. Well, you want to know what's funny? What? You called me at the exact same time winter Thursday. Really? I think it was 7.52 when you called me. And that's what it was, I think, this time. No shit. Yeah, I think it was. I'll have to look. It was within five minutes, I guarantee that. Was this recurve? No, I had my compound. I it would have never it would have never happened with a recurve. I'll tell you that he was about one step from being downwind at 45 yards. So, oh yeah, I I uh, stretched out the old compound on this one. Okay, we're back to the house right now, everybody. I had a bit of a mix up with my SD cards. Uh, I had the recovery and uh, all the videos showing my deer off and whatnot. Anyways, I had that on an SD card. I had a bunch of cards in my pocket. I switched some out of the camera. Lost the card that had my recovery on it. So there's a bunch of video that you guys are missing out on, unfortunately, because uh, me losing the SD card. But anyways, uh, I wanted to uh, recap the hunt a little bit. It was absolutely awesome. Like, calling in a buck like that from across the field with uh, a grunt, you know, a few grunts and snort wheeze and having them bristle up and stuff, man, that was, it was just a, a perfect rut style hunt. Uh, the call that I used was from Blue Line Calls. I put a link in the description to get a hold of this guy if uh, you want one of these calls. They sound awesome. You guys heard it a bunch in the video. And then uh, the snort wheeze wasn't a call that I used. I just do that with my mouth. And uh, that was all it took, a few snort wheeze and a few grunts, and that buck literally came right to the tree, basically. He tried circling around, but I, uh, I didn't let him uh, get downwind before I let one fly. Uh, sorry I didn't get the shot on video. It was kind of an awkward. I was planning on him being on my right, and when he circled around downwind, my camera arm was on my right side, so I would have had to spin that around the back side of me and get it on my left side, which was a lot of movement when he was already trying to look for that, you know, the sound of that call. I was trying to be really still. Long story short, I didn't get it on video. Sorry for that, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a hunter before a cameraman. When the camera stuff works out, great, I get it, but, you know, I'm not going to ruin my chance for the good buck because of uh, the camera, but... I uh, really want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, what a year it's been. I mean, this is this is a year for the record books for me. A, a black bear with a bow, a New York, a nice New York buck with a bow, Pennsylvania buck with a bow. Uh, I'd really like to to get a deer with my recurve, so that's my next goal. Try to get a doe with a recurve, and uh, who knows? I might grab, I might buy uh, over the uh, counter Ohio. Uh, buck tag and go to uh, Ohio and try some public land out there this week. So we'll see. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll have lots more coming soon. Kaylee's hitting the woods. My dad's hitting the woods. We're going to have lots, lots more content. So thanks everybody.